What is up everybody? It has been so long since I've done a vlog and I've got to apologize for that but I've been doing a whole bunch of different types of videos. I've been trying to do you know funny things, sketch things, music things. Just uh, I can't ever decide what I want to do so I just kind of do whatever I feel like. So my whole entire YouTube channel is super random but I started out as a vlogger on YouTube and I'm definitely going to keep doing vlogs uh, even though I haven't been consistent with them. So anyway Today, I want to catch you up a little bit on what has been going on in the last uh, couple of weeks of my life. First thing that I want to talk about is actually, um, a couple, happened a couple weeks ago, there was a giant hailstorm that happened here in Oklahoma. And so uh, I'm out of Oklahoma, you know, and uh, basically we just had this random hailstorm come out of nowhere and started beating up everybody's cars and roofs and all this kind of good stuff and the hail was literally about this big it was like it was huge but I'm not gonna just talk about it I'm gonna show you because I've actually got some videos from different things that have happened over the last couple of weeks so I'm, gonna I'm just gonna show you this is Eagle Garrett we're in the middle of a huge storm right now and it is hailing like no other check this out that's all hail you guys it's destroying our cars right now. I'm worried about our windshield. Golly. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, yeah, that just got the. Ah. Oh. It's starting to, oh my gosh, I had to get inside. It's starting to like bounce up and hit, hit inside. Look, there's hail on the, it's starting to jump inside the uh, porch there. Jeez. Golly. Yeah, that definitely dented up the cars. No doubt about that. Anyway. It hailed really, really hard, and I was absolutely just blown away by how much hail and how powerful it was. Of course, in Oklahoma, we're known for storms, tornadoes, hail, just random weather stuff, and that is what happened that night. Um, anyway, my car wound up getting some hail damage, as did a lot of other people's cars. The big amount of damage that I got was on the side mirror of the driver's side of my um, my car. My mirror got shattered by a chunk of hail. Apparently, I, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that the hail like came down and hit the side of my glass or something and bounced over and shattered the shattered the side mirror. Anyway, I walked out the next morning to drive to work and noticed that my mirror was shattered, but my windshield was just fine, so I was cool with that. I uh, I replaced the mirror myself. I went and I ordered a new piece of uh, mirror, you know, a piece of glass, mirror, glass, uh, whatever you want to call it. I ordered a new mirror for it. I went ahead, took the thing apart, replaced it myself, and I was going to do a how-to video on it, and I got halfway through the process, and then that's when I remembered, oh yeah, I was going to do a how-to video on how to replace your side mirror. So yeah, go figure on that one. Anyway, my windshield was actually fine after the hailstorm, but a few days later, when I, my car was sitting at the, the uh, parking lot, my parking space at work, I guess somebody was mowing the lawn and hit a rock or a piece of concrete and it threw it up and cracked my windshield on my car. I had made it through this huge hailstorm with like super powerful hail coming out of nowhere and my car was, the only thing that was wrong was my side mirror was shattered and a few days later my windshield gets cracked by a chunk of rock from a lawn mower. At least that's what I'm thinking happened. Now I've got this spidering crack on my windshield. And uh, I'm not even going to try to replace that, y'all, because my van, you know, it's 20 years old. And, uh, yeah, I do drive a van, by the way. We like Everybody likes to call it the Beast, you know what I mean? So I have a Beast for a car. But uh, it's cool. I like it. It drives well, and I can throw tons of stuff in the back, like, you know, my music equipment or lots of junk food before a movie. Shatters, uh, it doesn't shatter my windshield, but it cracks it. Shatters sounds way cooler, though. Next thing that I want to talk about that's been going on, though, is the playoffs. And the playoffs have been going on for a while now. Um, they're over, actually, and my team lost. Uh, yeah. I've been rooting for the Thunder the entire time because I'm from Oklahoma, and the Thunder has been my team ever since they came here, and I've just been absolutely loving the entire thing. The playoffs have been great. Me and my friends have gone out, and we've basically either watched the finals, uh, all the playoff games together doing different things. A couple times I watched it here at the house when nothing was going on. 
but uh, we had a great time. It's sad that we lost in the finals, and we just couldn't hold it. The Heat were way too good um, for us this year. I guess it was just not our year, but it's all right because we're gonna come back strong next year, and I feel like we can uh, we can take the finals next year. During the playoffs, though, my friends and I decided it would be a good idea to go play some basketball because obviously, you know, you kind of get pumped for that sort of thing. So we went and played some basketball, and uh, while we were there, right before we left, my friend Austin decided that he wanted to dunk the ball. And so this is a little attempt at him uh, dunking the ball. He actually did pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I wish I could dunk the ball, but I, I can't. Because, because I don't want to show off too much. That's why I don't dunk the basketball. I just, I leave it alone. I'm like, listen, you guys can do your thing. I just don't want to look too good on the court. You know what I mean? So that's that's just me. I'm trying to be nice, you know what I mean? A few nights after this this basketball dunk that you see here, we're actually uh, watching the, one of the playoff games, or one of the finals games, at my friend Josiah's house. And while we're there, my brother and I during halftime decided, hey, let's go grab some drinks from 7-Eleven, okay? So we're driving away from his house and come to uh, a little intersection from his neighborhood onto the, a main street to get to 7-Eleven. And while we're at this intersection, we look up and this, this guy is walking across the street with his shirt open. He's got his shirt completely open. His belly's hanging out, he's got a nice belly. I mean, he's packing it away in that thing. And he's walking, like, kind of spinning around, like dancing, just like, like, like doing crazy stuff. And we're like, what is this guy doing? I didn't get this on video because I was driving and I didn't think to grab my camera fast enough. And I had to turn and everything, you know, when the light turned green. So I didn't get it on video. But on the way back, oh, by the way, this guy had a wad of grass in his hand, like, he was carrying, he looked like he went through a field that had really tall grass and just grabbed a huge handful. And while he's spinning around, another dude walks by him and he like pushes the guy and starts yelling at him. And then he walks a little bit more and he takes this grass and he holds it up and he starts talking to it like this. And he's talking to the grass and he puts his arm out like this and he's just like, I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's obviously high on something. He's talking to the grass and then he starts like letting the grass go like this in the wind, you know, just like real epic like a movie he's letting that grass just oh, float away my brother and i are cracking up we're also like should we call the police this guy's obviously he's obviously not himself not in his right mindset but we decide well let's go grab some some stuff at 7-eleven it didn't look like this guy was going anywhere because as we were pulling down the street we literally looked back and he was like after he let the grass go like this he literally just like put his arms out and fell backwards onto the concrete path that he was walking on. It was like the weirdest thing. So we're like, he'll be fine. He'll be there. We'll grab some drinks on the way back. We'll probably, if he's still there, which he probably would be, we'll call the police and we'll have it uh, taken care of. Anyway, on the way back, this is what we see. We see the cops, but it's not one cop. It's three police officers that are arresting this guy on the hood of the car. And I'm going to try to play this video a little bit slower so you can see. But they are arresting this guy because he was crazy. And uh, anyway, it really was one of the funniest things I've ever seen, but I feel really bad for the guy because you know he's obviously got some, some drug problems or maybe he was drunk uh, off his rocker, I don't know. But uh, I, hope he, I hope he turned out okay, I hope things got worked out, I hope he's alright. But uh, anyway, another crazy thing that's happened among all this is the other night I was actually, uh, I was actually at church, I played bass guitar for the band, I'm filling in for the bass player because he's gone right now. So I was playing bass guitar for the band. And we all, you know, service is over and everything, and everybody goes out to eat. So we were planning to go out to eat after service with uh, a huge group of college students and the leaders and that sort of thing. And we're all standing there, and suddenly a stretch Humvee limo pulls up into the parking lot of my church. And everyone is like, whoa, like, is this dropping somebody off? Or like, what is this? Apparently, one of our, our good friends from the youth group, her name is Shelby, was at a bachelorette party that night with a whole bunch of her friends and that's why she wasn't at church. So, she sent the limo that they had ordered that night, they still had some time left on it, and they were done using it, so she sent the limo to the church to pick up everybody that was still there and let them drive around in a stretch Humvee limo. I've never ridden in a limo before, let alone a stretch Humvee limo, and I've always wanted to ride in a limo. So I was like, this is gonna be legit. So I pull out my camera, I start filming, everybody's filming, taking pictures, we're having a good old time. We get in this limo and it is like a, like, it is a club or, or a, I don't know what, I don't know the best way to describe it, but it is crazy. There's lights, there's, there's champagne glasses, but it's filled with Dr. Pepper and water and all the stuff that I would rather be drinking. And uh, 
So we're grabbing Dr. Peppers, we're grabbing champagne glasses, everybody's pouring each other, we start toasting with Dr. Pepper and champagne glasses. We are literally partying it up, and we only had the limbo for like 15 minutes, so we were taking advantage of every second. So anyway, we're, we're just like going crazy. Everybody's taking pictures of each other, all, you know, get with this group, take a picture, get with that group, take a picture. And uh, we start listening to like, like hip hop music and uh, some dubstep, obviously, whenever you're partying, dubstep, of course. Anyway, we have a limo ride, it is a great time. We get back, and then that's when we go to Applebee's, the old fashioned way, our own cars. We just don't want the limo to drop us off at like Applebee's and then be like, okay guys, find a way back. You're gonna have to walk four miles or something like that. The next thing and the last thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm really disappointed because the Thunder were, have been playing the playoffs this whole time and I got a Thunder NBA basketball Oklahoma City rap song written for the Thunder. I like worked really hard on it. I actually, it's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite like kind of hip hop, electro, uh, you know, beats I've ever produced as a musician. And uh, I rapped to it, came up with this legit rap, and I was super excited, but I didn't have time to film a music video to go along with it. And I was like, okay, if we can win that last game in Miami to bring us back here, then I'll go ahead and have time to produce the video, put the rap music on it, and have release a rap song for the OKC Thunder. Unfortunately, my dog's barking right now. Unfortunately, we lost. And so now I have a legit rap song for the OKC Thunder that I don't know what to do with, except for wait until next year to release it. So I'm thinking about doing that, but I also have this like extreme itch to release the song because I want to see what everybody thinks. And I really like the song. So anyway, what I want you to do is if I get a ton of thumbs up on this video, I'll release a rap song for the OKC Thunder with the music video and I'll release it basically saying this is what we're looking forward to next year. Okay? Either that or you can leave comments and tell me that I should just wait till next year like a smart person and release it whenever we hopefully make it to the playoffs again next year. That is what I've been up to recently. It's been taking a lot of time out of me, plus I'm working full time and doing uh, I'm doing graphic design work for people on YouTube. I'm doing um, work with AT&T right now. I'm working on my own stuff, photography, blah, blah, blah. So I've been super busy, but I'm going to start making more vlog videos and other kinds of videos and keep it up. I've been trying to put out one a week. I think I've gone over a week by a few days, but I'll have tons more. Good to see you guys. American Pride. I got this for like four bucks at Walmart. You can't beat that sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's a good chill shirt and it's good for like 4th of July. So I'm wearing that right now, repping it, representing. Um, and you know, I got the camo background because that's the only blanket that fits up there right now. Working on getting a green screen, y'all. Don't worry about it. And uh, anyway, I'll talk to you soon. So I'm getting ready to go eat some fried fish and uh, we'll have a good time. You go get it out. Ah!